Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today, we delve into the mesmerizing world of Dream on Monkey Mountain, a masterwork by the eminent playwright Derek Walcott. Published in the late 20th century, this play stands as a beacon in Caribbean literature, illuminating the region's rich culture and history through its evocative narrative. At its heart, Dream on Monkey Mountain is a tale of identity, liberation, and the human spirit, portrayed through a vibrant cast of characters that are as complex as they are captivating. The protagonist Macaque is a charcoal burner who navigates the dreamscape of Monkey Mountain, taking us along on a journey that is as introspective as it is external. But let's not give too much away just yet. The beauty of Dream on Monkey Mountain lies in its intricate layers of meaning, which we'll explore together. Now, prepare to embark on an unforgettable journey up Monkey Mountain. At the heart of this play, we find a man named Makak. Makak, a charcoal burner, is an old and poor man living in isolation on Monkey Mountain. His world is turned upside down with dreams of a beautiful white woman who calls him by his real name, Felix Hobain. This dream becomes the catalyst for a profound transformation in Makak, sparking a journey of self-discovery and self-assertion. The dream carries Makak to a marketplace in a fictitious Caribbean city, where he is seen as a prophet, healer, and a leader. He is joined by three characters, Tigre, Suris, and the Corporal, each representing different aspects of the society. Tigre and Suris, two vagabonds, serve as Makak's followers, while the Corporal, a symbol of colonial power, seeks to suppress Makak's rising influence. As the dream progresses, we witness Makak's struggle with his identity, torn between his perceived self and the persona the society imposes on him. This internal conflict reaches its climax with the mock trial, a key event where Macaque, accused of being a charlatan, is sentenced to death. Simultaneously, in the real world, Macaque is merely sleeping, watched over by an old man named Mustique, who decides to impersonate Macaque in his sleep. Mustique's impersonation creates a parallel narrative, reinforcing the blurred lines between dream and reality, the self and the other. The dream ends abruptly with Macaque's execution, snapping him back into reality. Macaque wakes up to find Mustique dead, having been mistaken for Macaque and killed by the villagers. This tragic event solidifies Macaque's resolve to embrace his true self and reject the illusions of power and prestige. The play closes with Macaque returning to his humble life on Monkey Mountain, a changed man, carrying the weight of his dream and the harsh reality of his existence. With Macaque's awakening we find ourselves questioning the nature of reality and the power of dreams. As we traverse through the dream and reality, we encounter a host of intriguing characters. The play centers around the protagonist, Makak, a charcoal burner of African descent, who embarks on a metaphorical journey of self-discovery. Despite his humble occupation and societal marginalization, Makak's dreams reveal a longing for identity and dignity, a battle against the shackles of colonialism. Then we meet the mysterious, ethereal figure of the white woman, who symbolizes the allure and deceit of colonial power. Her presence in Macaque's dreams ignites his quest for self-validation and acceptance, underscoring the theme of dreams versus reality. The Fool is another compelling character who serves as Macaque's companion. His practical, grounded nature contrasts sharply with Macaque's dreamy idealism, providing a balance. His character reminds us of the harsh realities of colonial oppression and the struggle for survival. Tiger and Suris, the two villagers, represent the common man's perspective. They are deeply rooted in their reality, skeptical of Macaque's dreams, and wary of the disruption it could bring to their lives. The Corporal, an embodiment of colonial authority, further emphasizes the theme of colonialism and its oppressive impact. His character, though antagonistic, brings to light the brutal realities of colonial rule and racial prejudice. The play is rich with themes of identity, colonialism, and dreams, versus reality. Macaque's journey of self-discovery underscores the quest for identity, his interaction with the white woman highlights the theme of colonialism, and the contrast between his dream world and the harsh realities of his life explores the conflict between dreams and reality. Symbolism and recurring motifs, such as the monkey mountain, the mask, and the moon, enhance these themes, adding layers of complexity. The monkey mountain symbolizes the high aspirations and dreams, the mask represents the false identities imposed by colonial rule, and the moon, a beacon in the dark, signifies hope amidst despair. Each character, each theme, adds a new layer to this richly woven tapestry that is Dream on Monkey Mountain. Now let's delve deeper into the layers of Dream on Monkey Mountain. At its core, Dream on Monkey Mountain is a seminal piece in Caribbean literature. 
It weaves together folk traditions, language, and the unique rhythms of island life, painting a vivid tapestry of Caribbean culture. The play serves not only as a window into this culture but also as a platform for its expression, challenging the often Western-centric perspective of mainstream literature. Next we journey into the play's historical context. Walcott penned this play in the midst of the post-colonial era, a time when the Caribbean was grappling with its identity, torn between a tumultuous past and an uncertain future. Dream on Monkey Mountain explores this struggle, confronting the lingering shadows of colonialism. It delves into the raw, often uncomfortable realities of this history, laying bare the tensions and complexities of a society caught in the throes of change. The literary significance of Dream on Monkey Mountain cannot be overstated. Walcott's unique style, a fusion of poetic lyricism and dramatic intensity, sets this work apart. His deft handling of language, his ability to imbue the ordinary with extraordinary depth is a testament to his literary prowess. Moreover, the play's exploration of identity, belonging, and the human condition has had a profound influence on subsequent works, setting a precedent for future generations of writers. In essence, Dream on Monkey Mountain is a cultural touchstone, a historical commentary, and a literary masterpiece. It stands as a testament to the power of art to transcend boundaries, to challenge perceptions, and to invoke change. It is a beacon in Caribbean literature, a bold statement against the vestiges of colonialism, and a shining example of Walcott's literary genius. As we step back from Monkey Mountain, we see a play that is not just a dream, but a mirror reflecting our own realities. Our journey up and down Monkey Mountain has been a rich exploration of Walcott's masterpiece. We ventured through the captivating narrative, met the play's complex characters, and wrestled with its thought-provoking themes. We've discovered the cultural and historical richness embedded within its lines and recognized its literary significance. As we descended from the mountain, we took with us a deeper appreciation for Walcott's skillful storytelling and his profound understanding of the human condition. The power of Dream on Monkey Mountain lies in its ability to engage us in a dialogue that transcends time and space, touching upon universal truths about identity, dreams, and the human spirit. I encourage each of you to climb Monkey Mountain yourself. Whether it's your first ascent or a return journey, the view from the top is bound to offer new insights. So, grab a copy of the play, dive into its depths, and let it transport you to a world of dreams and reality. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed our content, let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below.